Well, I think that's quite dramatic, you know, <laughs> coming around the corner, seeing the river, the panorama, <clears throat> and the big reveal. But not as big, Paul, this is a perfect segue, not as big a reveal as the piece of video you're about to see, which is the living senior or senior living a video that was on Czech TV in British Columbia uh, last year. When I look at this video, the thing that, and it's not too strong a word, actually shocks me is how much weight I have on me. Right now I'm 244 pounds. In the video you're about to see, I'm 337 pounds. And I, I can hardly watch the video because of that. But if we throw that away and forget it, I think you'll find the video interesting. As you know or may not know, I had heart failure. I'm recovering wonderfully. Uh, all kind of superlatives told to me by the people at the, the nurses, etc., at the cardio clinic at Royal Columbia Hospital. Time now for, even though it's an overused phrase, a shout out to Royal Columbia Hospital. Thank you very, very much, guys, in the heart division, <laughs> uh, especially my cardiologist, Jorge Bonet, and uh, Dr. Shumka, all of the nurses. Talk about top flight dedicated nurses. Anyways, not to make this too long, I also want to say thank you to Avi Axler, Dr. Avi Axler. Thank you to uh, the guy I'm in love with. Don't print that. I mean, you know, I, I'm in love with him, yeah, but I'm not meeting him tonight later. Dr. Saul Isero, beautiful guy. He was my cardiologist when I was doing Fiddler on the Roof and got the same thing. Anyways, speed it up, speed it up. Uh, thank you especially to my wife, Eva, who has guided me through Weight Watchers. She's lost 70 pounds herself. She's guided me like a teacher through the whole Weight Watcher thing. And uh, so as I say, I mean, how many pounds is that? 337 pounds, which you're about to see. The interview is interesting too, I hope to you. But 337 pounds to the one I am now, which is 244. And I'm going down to 220. Then I'm going to Nick's Spaghetti House in the East End <laughs> for a huge feast. So you see, I'm still obsessed by food. I think I've said it. I think I'm going to ask the cameraman, Jason. Jason V, Jazz, that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, he's not, yeah, you can see the camera nodding, yes. So, watch this. It was a short bit, little documentary, if you will, uh, done last year on uh, Senior Living, the program. Maybe show them the view, I don't know. I'll take my hand away. Stay with us as we discover why life is a riot for BC Entertainer Bill Ryder. Senior Living on Location is produced by Senior Living Media, celebrating seniors in our community. I'm actually 69 years old. I think so, but I think I want to stop at 67 for some reason. I think that's what it is. I'm 69. I've lost all my confidence now. Presenting Bill Ryder. Uh -huh. Confidence is one trait Bill Ryder doesn't need. After an extremely rewarding career in the entertainment industry, which includes everything from hosting a children's TV show to being a central performer in a comedic CBC radio program, Bill also dabbled in radio as a disc jockey. He acted, produced, and some might even remember his guest appearances on shows like The Beachcombers and The King of Kensington. Bill Ryder can also boast the fact that he's been inducted into the BC Entertainment Hall of Fame. Not bad for a person who entered the biz just to have fun. Yo, oh no, Bob, nobody watches the master at work. I'm ready. Oh, my little mugwump. Oh, hey, no cameras. Now, if you can't quite recognize the face, his signature voice is what makes him readily identifiable. Bill has performed and or voiced more than 5,000 radio and television spots during his incredible career. Oh, yeah. WAGR Radio Groove and Blue. And listen to this. All you Preston F's fans, you remember Preston F's? Bongo Rock? 
You you don't remember bon- you must remember Bongo Rock. I'm gonna let you listen to this. W A G R Radio Groove and Blue DJ Zigzag. Oh, this is a goodie. This is a funky too. Today, Bill is retired of sorts. He works in something that has always been his passion, music and radio. Under the name DJ Zigzag, Bill now hosts an online radio program on WAG Radio called Groovin' Blue. The focus is on a mix of jazz, rhythm and blues, African, soul, urban, and dance music. I loved radio, you know, and I loved doing radio commercials. Although I did have success doing stage, I have a love for film. I love going to film, but I don't have a love for doing that like I did for doing radio. I loved radio. Bill has always had a love of music. Since his youth, he's been drawn to New World African music. He used to disc jockey a program called Groove and Blue on CKLG-FM, an all-genre black music radio show. In his retirement, Bill has returned to his passion. In addition to his online radio program, Bill regularly blogs about music. He's also in the process of uploading material to the web from his peak days as a performer. Bill has created his own YouTube channel for this purpose. Here's a senior using emerging technology to pursue his passion and make his retirement years what he wants them to be. A radically cool endeavor, you might say. Here's a person, now in his 70s, featuring his own internet radio show, blog, and YouTube channel. You know, sometimes I'm really computer savvy, and then sometimes it's like, oh, my brain hurts. I think everybody feels that way about computers. As his performance career in traditional media slows down, Bill is enjoying his newfound interest in the Internet. He doesn't plan on making a profit from his Internet radio business, but he says, you never know what might happen. His career started out in much the same way. He didn't get into entertaining for the money. He did it for the fun of it, to have a riot. And the rest just went on from there. Somebody stop me, please. 